we can either get to tools and we can move to get to the art and to animate in the tool section because there it is over there right so you can either go there or we can go back to the home screen just to show you where it is and in the art section we can pick up on to animate Walt Disney who was one of the most famous animators in his day when it all started and he started doing animation then you used to, they didn't really have computers so what they would do is they would take a photograph of each picture and they would put it then into film and this is the reason why you see this film here because each one was done each picture was done by a photograph onto the film so it was really a tedious and a difficult job technology had allowed people to do tracing paper how to use tracing paper and that's the important thing in animation tracing paper so let me show you some of the tools that purple mash provides because you have probably got more tools available at your hands so if you look at the second frame you can see that you can move from frame to frame and you can add frames so there I'm adding another one so if I looked at the first one I'm just gonna choose a very thin black Koki and the reason why I'd use a Koki is because outlines are usually pretty good in animation so if I go like that and I had to draw a flower you find that you must always close the line close the line and the reason why you must close the line is because you're gonna use the I'm just gonna go like that there's the horizon and I'll just got to close that as well so if you look at the second one can you see the tracing paper is not working so I'm gonna switch on this the onion skin and now you can see we've got a traceable it's almost like tracing paper if I had to take that the wind is blowing my flower into a different position we've now got this so you've got, if I had to switch off the onion tool, you've got like that. You've got your animation. We are now moving into animation mode. All right, so you've got two pictures and everything's closed off. So if I color it in, it'll fill pretty well. Fill buckets, which is this one over here, that one over there. All right, so if I go to the third frame, I switch on my onion skin. Look, I've got a trace again. So if I move, the wind is blowing in the right direction. We could have that. It goes like that and there and we just need to bring in the horizon once more and then we go to the fourth and we are doing the same thing again you're bringing in the horizon I'm doing a very simple picture when you do yours please do try and make it somehow significant a storyline that it's not just purely a beautiful flower just moving you're gonna make yours have some extra meaning all right, so I bring that in and you're going to see that little space over there could create a problem. So if I go there, bring it round, and then I've got now the point where I can start using the color tool. The right tool for that would be this one, paint bucket tool. So you choose your color. I'm just going to make it a little smaller, my screen. I'll go over here. And you've got brown. I'm going to use brown. So if I go there, you can see I've colored it in beautifully and very quickly in brown. Switch off the onion tool and you can see it's brown. And you can work really fast. Can you see why I colored that in brown? Because that space over there has created a problem. I'll come back to that one in a minute. And there's a space somewhere over here that we can fix. And this one's also got the same problem. So I'm going to go back to the black. I'm going to try to work fast because I don't really want to take your, too much of your time. And it's that one over there. I think that was right. I can't go over there. I might just okay. Other side. Oh, there. That's out there. Okay. So I'm just going to color that in. And this one, you can see, there's a space there. So now, if I go and paint bucket tool, go with a nice blue because we're going to talk about the skyline. Go with that sky. Now it's easy to quickly do it because you can see you can color in very fast. And that's production. Remember when you're doing a thousand slides in a whole movie. You really do need to work fast so that's why they use this paint bucket tool red flower symbolizing martyrdom you know the red flower that's one of the reasons why you have red hearts all right so guys then you can also remember this pair the important thing onion skin so if I had to do a sky skyline I could start off with a yellow just put it over there I start on the first slide put it over there and you can see where you can put the next one okay so go with maybe the sun gets a bit hotter you 
get a red and it gets and you could go there and the sun's over there and then this one we could have like purple and the last thing before I let you guys go ahead with your own work is whenever typing a lot of people have said to me purple mash doesn't work uh, they did a very unusual way of typing you choose your color you click on the typing on the whatever you're going to type and you could say the flower uh, that's bad because it's not really the right color so let's go black um, if I say the flower then a lot of people when they type that they go out of here when they click here it goes away unusual their purple mesh you have to press enter and then it'll go there look and then it's on over there All right and then you just switch this off and you can set your speed over here you can choose whether you want it to go faster or slower okay, a bit fast you just get the right speed 